Well, it kicked off 2022. I spent two months in Miami on a staycation where I continued to work and I funded it by crypto gains. And so in March, we came back, finally dove into this uh, foundation issue, had to remove the stairs and the asphalt to access this corner block foundation that was eroded out. <clears throat> And then I did the sensible thing of getting tired of how hard this job was and then just leaving the back deck with no stairs and the asphalt halfway chipped up for most of the year. And in April, I moved the compost to a new location and replaced it with the garden bed. This is my first visit to the ranch property before I bought it in April 2022. It wouldn't be till the very end of the year that it closed, but this is my first visit there and I just had a good feeling about it. The plant starter rack and microgreen setup was pretty dialed and I transferred some early stuff in the greenhouse there. Then I decided it was time to finish the cladding of the greenhouse, at least the back of the building. So I burnt this pine siding and then coated it in linseed oil. This is my last project I'm ever going to build that was just like chaotic with no plan and nothing level or straight. I just hacked it together. Looks pretty good in the end though and then I tidied up and created a rain catchment barrel and Use that for most of the year to water the greenhouse. This is the front lawn after months with the tarp on to kill the lawn off. And it was a pretty big project getting the grass up. Switched jobs in May 2022. And I began developing my plan, which was to cover and remove most of this asphalt with new garden beds. Finally tackled this gaping medicine cabinet hole, and then there's the finished killed lawn. There's a beautiful sunset in spring. And hindsight's always 2020. You say, wow, there's so much effort on these gardens. Like I should have been putting that effort into fixing the house and just not mess with the gardens till the house is done. But hindsight's 2020. Like you don't know how much work it's actually going to be to set up a new garden and work a job uh, at your first house that you've ever bought until you've actually done it. And so this is the first time I've owned a house. This is the first time I've set up a garden from scratch. And this is my main fun in life. This is the my main passion that I enjoy. And without it, I just felt like it was a lot in life of stressful work. And I felt like I needed this to have some kind of outlet that's just not computer work and house building. And yeah, in retrospect and in the coming year, I think I'm going to really basically not do much garden work at all. But this is just the reality is a lot of my effort was going into this. It annoyed me that the basement was like unusable. Like you can't walk to the laundry machines with bare feet because you would get like sandy, dusty, dirty concrete feet. And so I wanted to seal it. And since I was going to go to the trouble to seal it, I figured wouldn't it be cool to just stain it as well. So I stained it in earth tone brown. In retrospect, uh, that was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. The amount of times you need to treat it and rinse it and scrub it. and uh, I would, If I could do it again, I would have just done clear coat and skipped the stain. And it's also a really gnarly chemical, but um, it looks okay. And I can walk to the laundry machines barefoot now. And I tried to figure out the most low-cost way to actually get some storage going in the basement. And... All the shelving you can buy is just garbage. I don't even like shelving that's available. So I built these out of eight foot sections of two by four. Giant, massive, massive shelving. These took several days to make. There's the first year of the wildflower yard beginning to come into its own. And I've really, really enjoyed this. I've already spent dozens of days just sitting out on the front porch at the morning coffee or whatever, just enjoying the bees and the flowers. Turned my focus to the downstairs kitchen and uh, all this uh, old antique farmhouse furniture was left upstairs in the house when I bought it. So I tried to convert this hutch to be used in a kitchen context, just trying to save the most budget I can and reuse everything. But it kind of turned out to be a nightmare that it wasn't made out of real wood like I thought. So I went to a lot of effort to paint strip and it really needs more work to this day. It needs to be repainted now. That wood art piece cover I made for the garage broken out window there fell out and so I just tarped it off. And then finally, after all year of having no deck steps and no corner foundation support, 
I turned my attention back to this and did some of my first ever concrete work in life. And once again, just really underestimated. This was so much work getting the asphalt out. And it turned out okay. I just hit it with the high strength concrete, stuffed the missing brick full, and then created these forms. And it came out okay. Then since I was already in there removing asphalt, I just continued removing asphalt up to the new expanded garden to reclaim lawn space and also manage this drainage like these arrows indicate, get a good grade going to get the water away from the house because before it had been just running into the foundation. And I ended up just utterly smoking my shoulder. I think I tore a rotator cuff because I could barely use my shoulder for like three months after that. And I was depressed for a while that it was going to be a permanent injury, but slowly it just grew back together. And building a second shelf of the same design to create more storage. And in November, somehow, some way, I closed on the ranch property. It took all year to negotiate and close the deal. And I couldn't believe it was happening. And the first thing I did was buy a snow machine. But the ranch is a separate story. We're going to stay concerned with just the city house in this series. But yeah, I had a ranch property going on at the same time from here on out. Now these stairs were, I don't, they could be original 1920 or like 50s, but they had completely rotted out. Nothing was actually holding up this section of the floor above the stairs. And the stairs were not anchored into the ground. You could pass your hand under them. So I had to spend a lot of time here engineering this and creating a lot of support posts and jacking up the whole house to get proper support before starting. And then I rebuilt this staircase. Came out perfect, but the one problem is because the pitch of the stairs was different, um, you have to duck to clear your head every time you go under there uh, because the last pitch of the stairs was really steep. So that was the one thing that kind of sucks. I kind of want to tear them out and redo them steep. But it was absolutely a ton of work, and they are serving the purpose. So for now, you just got to duck to get into the basement. And that brings the year to a close. Year number two in the books, things were really picking up with my level of seriousness and types of projects I was beginning to tackle. And I was beginning to really realize that the garden, I couldn't keep up the same level of gardening and house repairs at the same time. I was pretty determined that I would go into the next year really hot on these house repairs and try to wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Come back for the year four review and check out the parts one through three.